Hey, this is <laughs> this is everybody in a with a podcast, you know, sponsored by Coastal Studios and the Mac Juice. Hey, and today our first topic is gonna be basically us explaining ourselves and talking about people not being able to really say what they want to say. So, who want to go first? I will. I think people. Your name first. Oh, sorry. My name is Mackenzie. I think that people our age, you know, adolescents growing into young adults, you're learning who you are as a person. I think you're becoming, you know, who you are meant to be. And I think that not everybody has the right mind or the platform to say what they feel or, you know, because they don't, they're not sure about it yet. Yeah. Okay. And you love it? Yeah, I go. Um, first off, my name Anthony. Go by Ant. Um, really? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, people not being able what they want to say. I feel like people can say whatever they want to say. First of all, it's a free country. And then I just think most people are just like s- most people in this generation are more like sensitive because mm-hmm. you know how we grew up. Our parents like get this shit to us raw and uncut. Like, hey, you gonna do this shit? You gonna do that? But now I feel like parents not as hard on their kids as they was back then. So I feel like people just sensitive as hell now. So that's honestly how I feel. That's my only reason. Okay, Mia. Hey, I'm Jeremiah. John called me Mia. Um, honestly, I think basically what everybody ain't able, folks really just be scared to say what they gotta say. To be honest, in my book. Like, I feel like, damn, if you can't express your opinion, then the fuck is you doing? Like, I mean, if you feel like you can't say what you got to say, especially around people that you actually cool with or, you know, somebody that you just met, like you want to be friends with them, you got to be yourself. And if you feel like you can't be yourself and say what you got to say, then that's just weird. It's odd. You know? Or they're, they're worried about other people's opinions about it. Yeah, and their perception of what yeah. they're going to say. And, you know, me, I don't give a damn. I'm going to just yeah, say what I got to say and go on about my business. It is what it know. is. <laughs> Everybody ain't like that, so... <laughs> That's why I say everybody ain't able. And y'all know it's me. It's your boy, j Mac, <laughs> The social moderator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no count. But look, I feel like everybody ain't able to say what they want to say. A lot of a lot has to do with what they just said. A lot of people are afraid to say how they feel, especially because a lot of people are more sensitive nowadays. But I feel like if we was more honest and upfront and said what we felt and talk about you know, certain things that other people are afraid to speak on, it would be a better understanding and people wouldn't have to always be walking on eggshells when they want to say something. Because like me, i always been the type of person who say whatever whatever right. I felt like I right. needed to say. So it'd be hard for me to deal with people that, that, that can't say what they want to say. And I find out to like, I went to college and shit, but even in high school, I realized that you learn the most from open conversations. Yeah. Especially when it comes to discussions. Like, if it, I feel like I've learned the most from open discussions than I have reading. So, anybody else have anything else to say? Um, just to piggyback off what you said, I feel like once you be truthful, like in the beginning stage, like as soon as you meet somebody, I feel like once you live in your truth, you ain't got nothing else to worry about as long as you kept it real with them. Can't nobody really say, like, oh, he fucked me over, he lied and shit like That's that. That's a lie. People but, take offense to everything. But why you think they can't live their truth, though? That be the thing that be, that be getting me, though. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of people be scared. I mean, it's that simple. Like, people feel like you, you ever met somebody and, like, you meet them and you like, damn, you really just don't care about what you're talking about. And then it's other people, they be a little bit more reserved. They be like, yeah. all right, I'm going to ease you into my personality instead of just, you know, putting it on the table right there that day. But I feel like if you're more upfront with people in the beginning, they respect you more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah, agree. agree. Yeah. They respect you more. Yeah, because then you shice the hell if you done acted one way or you, and then you done flip. Like, right. you ain't the same. Right. But I mean, if you know you a lot, you can't really just bring that to nobody. On right. And be like, okay, but you're doing too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're doing too damn much. People going to think you weird or something wrong with you. You just come at the gate like, yeah, this is who I am. This is who I be. I feel like it's certain stuff you got to, like, take a. I kind of But what's everybody's favorite Bible verse? 
Isaiah 54, 17. Nah, Jesus said, come as you are. <laughs> That's what everybody's favorite fucking Bible verse is. Jesus said, come man, as you mine are. mine was different. Yeah, you went to. Like, <laughs> no weapon formed against me. I was like, please don't, please don't, let, please don't make, nah. make me say one. Everybody be saying, Jesus said, come as you are. Yeah. That's everybody's favorite line when it comes to the Bible verse. So, why people don't stand on it? Because people... Don't, don't like to be judged. Yeah. But then, what is? Why is your defense come as you are? But you got to think we're not the we're. I don't think that anybody here at this table is the same person that we were in high school. Oh hell no. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> different. I can honestly say, I think I am. Really. Honestly, truly, I really do. I don't. I think you're you're the same person, but you've kind of evolved into like a, a, a more better, mature I version think, of yourself. I think that's what he was trying to yeah. say. Yeah. 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 Think, like you're still you're still you're still, you know, J Mac, but you are more mature, you you know what you want, you know what you're doing, you have better plans, you have bigger plans. And in high school you didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But I always was like that. I just never had the platform or the space to do it. Yeah. I guess. Um, that boy ain't J Mac no more. That boy Mac. <laughs> <laughs> that boy was I was Jeremiah. I ain't gonna lie. Anytime yeah. I see y'all, like that shit make me make my day because don't nobody fucking call me Jeremiah. But my mama and people I grew up with. Oh, really? Or a girl that I'm talking to. And that shit don't even fucking count. <laughs> Actually it does. We no. like to call governments. So. Yes. <laughs> And I appreciate it because I get tired of hearing J Mac, Mac, yeah. Mac. Like that shit cool, but that shit almost like and sip banks. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I kind of feel the way when folks be called me. They were like, man, that's your new name. What banks? They nah, banks name? nah. It's just like the people we was around. Like when we was playing ball, like folks that we used to play ball with, mm-hmm. they still be calling me that. <laughs> it be bringing back so many memories. I be like, man. Banks. I never get that back home with the Kermit and see this shit. Must be nice. Me and Kenzie have a regular nickname. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet regular as hell over here. Like what? Nah. They, Where they, did Banks they, even come from? So, basically, we played ball in school. And my coach, which is Cole Winston. Shout out to Cole Winston. Shout out to Cole Winston. So, we were just playing ball one day. He was like, he just, Banks. And everybody looking like, who is Banks? And Banks. And I'm like. <laughs> I kept asking him for like months. I'm like, Coach, who was in Banks? He said, I'm going to tell you. He waited so long to tell me. And I had got hurt one day and just sat in the gym. And he was like, all right, I'm going to tell you who Aunt Banks is. He's, a, he's an actor. And you look just like him. So I went and looked him up on the <laughs> – I went and looked him up on Google. I'm like, Coach, I don't look nothing like this dude. Never he's like, man, man, look. He was like, man, look, your name ain't. So I just decided to call you Banks. And I'm like, man, look. Oh, he told me a whole <laughs> different <laughs> story. You? <laughs> you know how Cole Winston is, He though. told me it was an R&B singer from an R&B group. What I can't group? remember what the R&B group is. What but, group? <laughs> and, I don't think that group exists. I can't even remember. <laughs> it was Aunt Banks was the, was the, was one of the backup dancers in yo, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the, in the uh, joint. Oh, God. He's not, and that's why he would call you Aunt Banks. He said you, remind, you was smooth and shit. You remind him of an R&B <laughs> singer. Now, that was the story I got. Clearly, I'm going to have to get on Google after we uh, yeah. get done. Because I'm, I'm intrigued Banks? to know who that is. <laughs> hey, when y'all get on Google, just don't go to text me and shit. Be like, oh, you do it like this. I'm like, nah, bro. Y'all wild. Hey, right I you. mean, everybody got a contact picture somewhere. Man, they be saying on TikTok, I look like Brit Fire. Who is wow. <laughs> you do got the beard. The, 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 you see money the all around me. Oh, oh that's all. Okay, that okay, okay. No, you and don't. And some other dude... Uh, Somebody design, I can't think of his name. But yeah, they be saying I look like dude. <laughs> I don't see it. But then again, I'm not looking at like a side by side, so maybe if I... It's, it's, it's semi- the beard. I'm it's, telling you, it's, it's the, the beard. beard. <laughs> it's the beard. That's all it is. That's it, bro. It's just similarities. It's not It's not like, damn, they could be your twin. Well, it is somebody out here that looks like you. You know, doppelgangers so, exist. Shit. They do. Who is, so who is y'all celebrity twin that everybody tell y'all y'all look like? Bro. I got I got I your you one. said Brent. I don't look like nobody. Yeah, me but either. who do people tell you look like? Somebody told me I look like Dirk Baby Mama India and I said, bitch, you're a liar. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. They are a liar. <laughs> a liar. A compulsive liar. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I was just like, damn, you just sat there like, and it was a nigga too. So I'm like, was you trying to talk to me? And that was your way of making yeah, me feel buddy, better. Or <laughs> that was a compliment. That was his way of complimenting you. Yeah. I'm assuming. I don't know. I took it as like, I mean, she cute, but like, I don't look like her. It, it made me like, damn, where's the similarities? <laughs> I agree. That is wild. I would, mm, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a celebrity look like. I don't either. So nobody ever told you like, hey, you look like so and so, so and so. Hey, Kenzie, you look like. Mm mm. I'm not even gonna play with you. Guys. <laughs> yeah, don't. Please don't. <laughs> don't get cut down on you. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all who everybody, but everybody say this. I'll be saying I be like Coach Baker off of All America. Take these. <laughs> <laughs> Tight D's. I can see you looking like Tight D's. I don't. New, new Tight D's, not old Tight D's. Yeah. New Tight D's. It's like a, you could, it's like here. Right, right what? here. In the eyes. Yeah, it's right there. I guess. That is too funny. At the same time, be like, damn, I really look like that nigga and then shit. Like, I mean, you have similarities. Hey. I'm like, hey, shit, you tell me I look like Tight D's, I'm going to take this as a compliment, goddamn it, shit. It mean it might get you the bitches. <laughs> not because you look like celebrity, you're not finna get no bitches. It's, it's a nigga that look just like Chris Brown out here getting no bitches. Who? That, is, that is correct. I would I'm like to say. I know. I was like, please tell me who. Just in general. It's a nigga out here look just like Chris Brown getting no bitches. It's a nigga out here. It's it's multiple, a multitude of niggas that look like Drake that get no bitches. Who? Here? Drake here? Drake don't get in the bitches. world. In the world. In the world. Not just here, the world. <laughs> okay, who do y'all know that looks like Drake? Drake doesn't get bitches I'm like not, that. I'm so crazy <laughs> you hell. crazy as hell. What, crazy what bitches has he actually you crazy kept? Hell. What you know, bitches he actually kept? It ain't necessarily. Bitches ain't got shit to do, do with it, keeping them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. See, that's what's wrong with y'all now. <laughs> what the fuck is that's wrong what's wrong, with, wrong with y'all now. What you mean? Because who's to say the bitches didn't get him? Exactly. Shit. Shit, my nigga PJ Jackson, the Washington. My bad, I called that Jackson. Oh, he PJ. got, he got, got. That he was got stupidity. Got. That, that was stupidity. stupidity. That was stupidity. It was not stupidity. She wrote a book. So, a book. What dude at his age is reading a book about, and he want to go to the NBA? But it's more so the. <laughs> but, if you, but if you know that you're getting involved with somebody, so you, so if me and you got involved. You and I wrote a book. You knew I wrote a book. You wouldn't want to know what it's about. First of all, if I ain't she, fucking with you like that, I'm not reading that shit. First of all, she was a she was a known like I fuck niggas for money. This was some shit we knew when we was like 18, when 19. Got, when you got young dudes like that that want to go to the NBA and some niggas are dumb. And that's scouts. exactly what you're saying. No, right I'm now. not saying that. I'm just speaking reality. When you got niggas that want to go to the NBA and they got scouts and shit all in their ear, they main focus is to go to the NBA. Ain't nobody finna pick up a damn book. About but you go, you go, no, I'm okay, saying but you like, ain't nobody finna do that. But huh? you gonna at least know what it's about. You gonna at least know what it's about? I don't give a damn. I, I know she. I'm trying to go make an M in the NBA. I don't give a damn about that. I'm saying is that all her business is on the internet, so you seen that shit. I'm gonna keep it a stack. She got bro, and I'll still go talk to her. Well, at least you are honest. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a stack. He know better. He not gonna let her get him. I, that that might be true, but I'm just saying y'all acting like, oh my god, she got on. I don't care. So my I nigga see, got I got too. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas get got. That's what happened. Yeah. And I just it happened. <sighs> he did get got. You could have a t-shirt business. A bitch will come get you. Yeah. yeah. No. It's like what you told me about butt ass. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. the, the truth is, in the world of a pimp, a Memphis pimp. <laughs> You must don't know what that money make a bitch do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. You gotta speak. Who who are you speaking for? Who? Who are you speaking for? For me? For everybody? This is for the United the United States because no. I don't know what they no, got no, going. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I have fuck with the brokest of niggas. Okay. Okay. I have not. Never give a fuck. I have not. I so have. no, I'm, I have been. I have. I'm not saying. Look, if you don't make look, I just don't. I'm not about to support nobody. Disrespected. So that's my. I'm, I, I was saying a like t-shirt business. As in t-shirt business, as in like as long as a nigga making money, a girl will fuck with him. At the end of the day, and that's why I was saying it could be something as know. small as a t-shirt business. A nigga getting money out making t-shirts, they how gonna fuck with him? It I also know, it depends so. on the yeah. caliber of woman. Like when I was yeah. 18, 19, I really didn't really give a fuck about what a nigga had. 
now that I'm 24, it's like, baby, I got bills. I can't. I can't be fucking with you. You can't even do shit. I don't know. Like, in high school, it was different because, you know, not every... Like, I was younger than all y'all. Like, how old were y'all when y'all graduated? I, I had just turned 18. I had... I wasn't even 17. I was 17. I wasn't I even 17. What year you were born in? 97. But I was born in August. Shut your ass up. Man. I was, oh, my. Listen, I was, I was born, born in 97. I was born in 97. In 97. My birthday is what in August. What the hell you talking about? <laughs> so I had you, just you turned 17. 16? And you weren't 16? I was 16. When we graduated. You was not 16. You were 17 when we graduated. You were 17. Oh, and you were turning 18 you turn- when you started wow. college. Wow. <laughs> okay, wow. but I was still younger than you. Okay, well, go back. Get, get to what you okay, were saying. Okay, okay. So, back then, you didn't, you didn't care about what people did in high school. I mean, some people had jobs, some people didn't. But now, when I got to college, you know, I had a good job. So, why would I want to be messing with a dude with no car, mm-hmm. with no job, mm-hmm. when I got my own car, mm-hmm. I got my own job, what, what I got to be fucking with you for? Uh, who, saw, who says you had to? But you're saying if somebody get money, the bitch is going to be running to him. Facts. Cause you That's know, not a fact. That is the truth. That is a statement. Because he could be swinging dope. What fuck I got? Well, what I don't know. Because, you? you know, you got... You got girls that's going to work. They letting a the nigga use the car while they yeah, work. They no, I have nothing. seen it so many times. The Nissan Altima with the AKA tag, buddy, floating that hoe like that every time. Not the AKA shade. We ain't going to get started on AKA. Yeah, not no. the AKA shade. No. It's not shade. It's facts. No. I've but seen it many a time. You times. not capping. 90% of the time, if you see somebody with AKA tag, AKA shit on the car, it's a nigga driving that car. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I ain't need no shade to nobody. But if if I see some AKA tags on the interstate, because it used to be an Infinity, it's always a nice ass car. It's either an always. Infinity or like the newer model Altimus now. Yeah. Yes, oh always. god, and they're white. Some of them be black, but a lot of them be white. <laughs> black Infinity is white Altimus. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. They'll be infinities. The silver jet. That's the jet right there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. You, you stay away from them infinities. Hey, the G35, hey. the bumper cars. Hey, you better Get stay away, away from them motherfuckers, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, y'all, well, I think we got to a little, you know, a little hedge point. I think we made a little statement, man. We appreciate y'all for, you know, Coming to us with the first episode of Everybody Ain't Able, man. You know, it's been your boy J Mac, the social moderator. Fine ass, Jamia. How y'all doing? <laughs> Mackenzie. And, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and this was sponsored by Co Star Studios and the Mac Juice. And we out. <laughs>